So now that we've looked at all the different ways to make alcohols, we're now finally going to use them. And we're going to start with a whole series of substitution reactions. And first off, we'll look at the difference uh, in HI, HBr, or HCl with ZnCl2. HI replaces the hydroxyl group with an iodine, HBr with a bromine, or HCl and zinc chloride with a chlorine. And it turns out with HCl, uh, we need a little bit of zinc uh, as a Lewis acid catalyst, we say. And we'll see kind of how that plays a role and stuff like that. Uh, but let's just kind of dive in here a little bit. Uh, it turns out, uh, if we focus on the carbon with the alcohol, and the one on the left here, I've got a tertiary carbon, and the one on the right, I've got a primary. And it turns out this is really significant, because uh, depending on how substituted your alcohol is, that actually is going to affect the mechanism. We can't just say this uses the same mechanism every time. Sometimes it's SN1, sometimes it's SN2. Uh, it turns out for a tertiary or secondary alcohol, like the one on the left here, uh, it'll go SN1 uh, through a carbocation intermediate. Uh, but for a primary alcohol or methanol, it goes through SN2 and you get backside attack, no carbocation whatsoever. Uh, so let's kind of see how this plays out. Uh, first thing you should realize is that an OH is a bad leaving group. A uh, hydroxyl group if it were to leave would be hydroxide, which is a strong base and very unstable. Uh, for a good leaving group, I want something to be a very weak base and very stable after it leaves. Uh, but in this case, we can improve it significantly uh, with an, a strong acid, and that's why all these involve a strong acid here. So uh, we'll go and protonate in both cases. We'll do that over here as well. So we'll just kind of work these out in tandem. And in that case then, now I've got this protonated, same thing over here. So and instead of having a bad leaving group now, now we've got waters. So and waters a great leaving group. And so in this case, it's going to leave with the tertiary carbon. That's going to form a carbocation. So in this case, that carbocation is free to rearrange. If there's a favorable one, there isn't in this case. Uh, it's as stable as it's going to become. Uh, in this case, notice uh, when we uh, deprotonated the HBr, we also formed a bromide ion back here. So, and that bromide is now going to attack the carbocation to give us our final product. So that's the mechanism here, and this is indeed SN1. So going through a carbocation intermediate. But with our primary one over here, uh, it's going to be a little bit different. So if we were to try and have the water leave, it uh, wouldn't work. We'd form a primary carbocation, which is not stable enough to form. Uh, but we did also form a bromide ion here as well. And that bromide ion is going to come and do backside attack. Uh, and so in this case, we'll attack the carbon that has the water leaving group, and the water is going to leave all simultaneously, just like in every SN2 reaction. It's concerted. So, and that's going to get us our product here. And again, that is totally an SN2 mechanism. Cool. So that's the big difference here. So again, tertiary and secondary alcohols go SN1. Primary uh, alcohols or methanol go SN2. Uh, one thing to note, I said we should talk a little bit more about the HCl and ZnCl2. Turns out HCl is the weakest of those three, of those three acids, HI, HBr, HCl. Uh, it needs a little bit of a catalyst to make it work. So if we kind of look at this reaction uh, and how it might play out with HCl, so it turns out the way this kind of plays out is you've got zinc 2 plus in your solution. So, and your alcohol is actually going to attack the zinc rather than the HCl, which is not quite as strong an acid as the other two. So, and that's going to lead to... So now the zinc's only going to be plus one. Uh, but in this case, this is still a great leaving group. So instead of water, it's still an oxygen with a positive formal charge, and that's your good leaving group. And then bromide ultimately, I'm sorry, actually, my bad, in this case, chloride would come and do backside attack. And so just a little bit different leaving group in this case if I wanted to get the alkyl chloride. And so our alkyl chloride in this case, there. So just a little tiny bit different mechanism with that zinc uh, acting as a Lewis acid catalyst for HCl.